Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I'm going to do a little bit of wiring that I stuffed up. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning guys. If you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the post notification bell to stay up to date with this build. That being said, let's get into it. Hi right, boys, I believe I've stuffed up some of the wiring. Um, I think I should have left the cam position sensor connected to the ECU and tapped into it. Because now my dash is not reading RPM, so I believe that means the TCU for the transmission uh, doesn't see an RPM either and it needs that for shifting and everything also got ABS and airbag light so hopefully by doing that we can remedy them and get this driving finally last night I came out after looking at my tune thought I wasn't running I was running a bit lean came out and had a look at my paperwork that I got with my injectors and my dead times on my injectors were wrong. So I fixed them. I have not started it since then because it was about 10.30 when I did that, 10.30, 11 o'clock. And unfortunately, I just went out with the family and now it's about 9 o'clock. So tomorrow we'll come back after work and start her up and see how it is. But hopefully it's a lot better because tonight... I'm going to be doing the wiring for the cam no, crank shafts sensor. So let's look at some wiring diagrams and get it back together. Well, I actually forgot that I cut back the original four core back to the conduit. So I'm going to get this pipe off, make it a bit easier because I need to get back to there. All right, this and it's all done. Now to move in to the cabin and do the ECU. All right, so I've got the pins back into the ECU. So I've got the three pins, um, positive, negative, and the ground. It's, it's there. Can you see it? Yeah, it's that one there. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is uh, turn around and start it up. So if we've got uh, RPM on the dash and I'll have the laptop open and hopefully fingers crossed it doesn't affect the signal to the health tech <sighs> no RPM alright so sorry about the light there um, I need to look back through the wiring and see what does the RPM alright that's got me stumped Maybe I'll need to put the cam one back on too. I'm not sure. I'm going to head inside and do a little bit more research. And also have a look on my wiring diagrams um, that I've got on the computer. So I didn't obviously print off all of them. We'll see if we can find what does the taco. Already looked on the ones that I've got there. So there's two wires going in there. They go into the ECU. Obviously, there's an input that I'm missing. All right, guys, back out here. It's five to twelve in my jammies. Um, just going to check a couple of wires. Been looking at the wiring diagrams. Um, found the RPM output. So hopefully, I haven't touched that. If I have, easy fix. Uh, yeah. We I don't know. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back. It's uh, Thursday. After work. So, been bugging me all day. Um, trying to get RPM onto the dash. Now, I went to 
the people of Facebook on uh, Subaru Mechanics Group, and I asked them, what does Subaru use as a reference for the RPM from the ECU? Or, 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 or. And there's a couple of people. A couple of people were pretty good about it, you know. They use, most of them use crankshaft position sensor. Some use both cam and crank and work out that way. And there's some people, I, was, I did end up mentioning that I'm doing a Haltech. I'm like, well, it's a standalone. Why do you need all that stuff? I'm like, I've got an auto. It needs an RPM reference, obviously. He goes, oh no, it doesn't need that. They have their own references. I'm like, pretty sure it all talks to each other. So, I've actually got this on my phone and I was looking through it on my phone. And, uh, let's have a little look at these. So, automatic control system. So, we've got the combination meter, got the transmission control module, inhibitor switch, kick down switch, hold switch. Power supply. Don't think I've cut any power. Shouldn't have cut any power. TCM. Let's give it a page here. Oh, here we go. Cruise control module. Throttle position sensor. That I did not know. So that might be an issue. But here we have engine control module. Look at all of them to the transmission control module. Hmm. Separate hey. And then we have ABS that goes into the transmission. Yeah. So they do talk to each other. Hmm. Hmm. You are not all knowing Subaru mechanics on your Facebook group. So still didn't give me an answer on my RPMs. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I've got a lot of worrying to do. So, the guys on there said you could probably do an output from the Haltech um, for the signal out. I know which wire is the RPM out signal. And it's referenced quite a bit, but I'm just trying to find what, how it makes the RPM signal. Because I've uh, hooked up the crank sensor again, and nope. Maybe it is both. Maybe I need to put the cam sensor back on as well. Um, I might do a little dodgy in the engine bay here. If that is it, then I will make it neater um, under the dash and remove all that. So I'll just go straight to the Haltech and bring it down to the stock ECU instead of having crappy wiring the engine bay because we're trying to make it a little bit neater just a little bit in the engine bay so uh yeah more wiring woo all right guys what i'm actually going to do is actually hook the laptop up via tactrix cable so it's into the obd system and i'm going to see what is going on if it's putting any codes out and what the codes are and uh if we're getting uh, any sensors like throttle position definitely won't be because it's not in there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. All right, guys. So I couldn't connect my OBD to find out what's going on. Um, yeah. Well, at least we know this is what we've changed. So, <laughs> what do we need to do? Um, by the looks of it, throw a position. I'm not sure if I just can take that from the Haltech because it's still putting out a 5 volt. Or if I need to go into the ECU for the ECU to do something, put it out to the uh, transmission. It's obviously 
I have a need throttle position for probably the ABS as well. I haven't got the ABS system schematics out, yeah, but that'll probably have throttle position as well. Um, so probably best. Let's get that put back in and just putting the sensor wire back in. Um, so it looks like there's just power to the other one, which is still connected. Um, should be should be fine. Hmm. All right. So I've got a couple of little piggy tails, but not many. Most of them are like stupidly cut right off at the end. So I had enough in there to do it. And I should have cut them like that. Um, I'm actually going to put connectors onto it and I can actually probe and pin up everything to see if it works that way and uh, hopefully hopefully that works so it's just going to be temporary at the moment to see if that is the issue and then uh, yeah we'll find a better solution alright guys so I just reconnected the cam position sensor onto the ECU and I'm going to have to do the wiring here which will be a little bit later because the fan is nearly home and got to have dinner so later tonight I'll come back out rewire the stock cam sensor in or the wiring and hopefully we can get an RPM signal if we do that then obviously the TCU will have the RPM signal and uh, the cluster will too Fingers crossed, guys. All right, I'm back. It's just after 10 o'clock, and it's actually getting a bit cold. I'll have to put the heater on. Um, but, yeah, let's uh, wire in the the cam sensor and give it a quick start, see if we get some RPM on the dash. All right, so I've just mocked up some wiring. Fingers crossed this works to get the RPM signal. That didn't work. Might see if I can somehow get a RPM signal to come out of the Helltech. All right guys, so I managed to get an RPM signal to the dash via the Helltech. Um, so hopefully now the TCU is now saying that because I did um, tap into the wire that comes from the ECU. So it should be sending a signal to the TCU. And I also got it to a sweep as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll show you that tomorrow. It's about midnight now, so uh, yeah, I won't start her up. Um Yeah, hopefully that's fixed a couple of things. Obviously I don't know if um the speedo works yet because I haven't moved it and I haven't put it into gear yet. I think um I think I'm off the ground on all fours but I need to also work on my idle which I probably shouldn't have taken all this wiring out. But also saying that you need an output for the idle control. Alright guys, it's the next day. I'll just show you this sweep. Sick! Alright guys, so I'm actually going to finish this episode here. We've got a little bit of progress with some wiring, which is fantastic. So, I need to do the exhaust again. It's knocking on the tunnel and it sounds absolutely terrible. Picked up some new tools, some stubbies. So it's going to be easier getting in there with the shorter um, spanners, which is great. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll catch you next episode. Bye.